Hi there, I'm Jamie Cunningham. This video is all about how to create systems that actually get followed. So if you're in the position where you either just know you need better systems or you need to organize your systems or you've got systems but they're not being followed, I think you're gonna love this video. We're gonna walk through some things that you can implement immediately and odds are they're gonna cost you absolutely nothing. So let's dive into it. Okay, here we are at the computer and we're using a tool called Trello. Quick shout out to the team at Trello, guys. Fantastic tool, love your work, thank you. Now, Trello is a essentially a open format project management tool and I'm just showing you here what they refer to as a, a, a board, a board and I'm gonna show you the inner workings of our sales up board. But your board starts very blank. It's an open canvas that you can create however you want. And I want you to see this because I'm about to show you our board and I want you to see that you don't have to set it up like our board, you can set it up however you want. Um, it's blank slate. So let's dive into the inner world of sales up business coaching. And this is the tool that we use to keep us on track for you know, all projects that, that are running in the business. Uh, we're a small team, but we're a diverse team. We're geographically all in different places. So it's very good for us to, to stay on track, but we've seen it work really well with clients uh, who are in the same location or geographically dispersed, doesn't really matter. So we've got it set up with a couple of things. Um, these are probably the three ones that we're using on a daily basis. They're our short-term priorities, things we wanna get done in the short term, things we're currently working on, and when they're done, the cards just get dragged over to the done uh, pile. Uh, banking folder is really just the mail that ha comes in Canada. I'm in Australia, so Melina throws stuff on there. You can see I've got some tax to pay. I'll do that later, that can wait. Um, then we've got a two couple of columns for our, um, our weekly meeting rhythm. So each week we've got an agenda uh, and we keep notes on, on what's happening during the week. Keeps us on track of that. Our parking lot is the ideas that we don't want to lose track of, but are not critical for um, you know being done immediately. So they're just they're there as placeholders. Then you know as we want to work on them, we might drag them over to the you know to the short term priority list. But for now, they just stay there. And this is the one we're going to dive into the system. So all the major systems that we use on an ongoing basis uh, that we need to make sure we follow well sit here on the systems uh, folder. And two I'm gonna dive into, one is a more team-oriented system and one is a more individual-oriented system. Uh, you can obviously you know, mix and match the two. But first we're gonna start with the BN video checklist, which is what I'm doing right now, is creating a business nutrition video. So this is a template, um, which I'm gonna walk you through in a second, but I'm gonna make some changes possibly to it. So I don't wanna make changes to the template, I wanna create an actual uh, card that we're gonna use. So first thing I'll do is I'll copy this card and I'm gonna give it a title, how to create systems that actually get used. Not sure why I got caps some places and not others, but anyway. And we're gonna copy that to the, oh, to the doing list and let's put in position one and create a card. So what that did is it left my template in place and it put a card over here in the doing, and you can see it now has a title. So in a card, you can put attachments, it could be a picture, you can see we've got a picture on this one, it could be documents, uh, it could be links to an Evernote file, whatever it might be, there's all sorts of options. We can add members, so I'm gonna add Molina to this. Um, oh, okay, I'm bringing out the picture. So this is the picture that we attach, and in this case, it's the actual workflow of how we do uh, bring one of these videos from idea to uh, execution. And we've got checklists of the different steps that have to be taken. So I have written the script for this. I'm recording it now, so I'll tick that one off. Uh, we might say, okay, we're gonna outsource, outsource the editing of this one. Uh, Melina's gonna do the thumbnail. And you know, you can make make notes as you like to this and, and tick them off. So did I add Melina? I've, I'm gonna add Melina, thought I did that, I didn't. Okay, Melina's added. Let's put a due date on this one of the 22nd, save. 
And you can also then have conversation down here. So I can say at Molina, uh, recording video, video now should be done by Friday, for instance. So now she'll get a notification about that and she'll know where, where things are at. So this is if you've, if you've used other software like possibly Basecamp or other project man management software, it's maybe not as robust as some of those, but we're not really doing this for project management per se. We're doing it for simple systems that need to get followed on a consistent basis. So that one's off and running. Now another example would be, I mentioned the personal checklist. So I find for me, I've got certain things that I have to do every month at certain times of the month and I hate keeping track of that stuff and I find it confusing to know if I, have I done this, have I not done that? And I just don't like keeping a, a mental to-do list uh, in my mind. Rather have a system that can keep me on track and allow me to, to fill my brain with other stuff. So there's the, the default template here. Um, and you can see the, if I've got to go a copy of that, um, here's the one right now for October. So in that, I've got a whole bunch of different to-dos that I need to do. A lot of it's sort of basic admin stuff around payroll and paying credit cards and all that sort of stuff. So I've broken into weeks. So at the beginning of a week, uh, I've got time allocated on a Monday, uh, usually a Monday morning before lunch for admin time. And all I do is I open this card up and I go through my, my checklist. So obviously I'm still in week one of this month. Got a few things still to do. But just very simple way to keep track. And you see Melina's got one here for, for bookkeeping. So that's it. That's, that's how we use Trello and how we have clients that use Trello. It's great for collaborating with teams. Very simple format and allows us to just have things written down and be easily followed. So hopefully that's helpful for you. So there you have it. Hopefully you see that's you know, a pretty simple tool to be able to create some customized systems that are pretty easy to use and quite easy to get the team involved in. And as I described, you know, it's something that we find and our clients find that it's actually a tool that people want to use and uh, makes things a lot easier. So if you're not sure where to start, we've actually developed a, a checklist, an overview a checklist on the general systems within a business. You can download a copy of that just below there, that can get you started, or you might already have some, uh, some systems in mind that you know you can apply this to immediately. Either way, I hope this has been valuable for you and welcome you to put comments or questions below. We can help you out there where we, where we can. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll get notified as new videos come out. Thanks for watching and have fun with it.